Hi folks, welcome to another Stahl13.com video. We have a, vid a video about salt blocks and trace hey. mineral blocks, but one thing oh. that we haven't had Never is mind. a video that talks about trace mineral in a bag. What is the benefits of trace mineral in a bag? All trace minerals, whether it's for goats, sheep, pigs, cattle, or whatever, comes in 25 pound bags. Now I want to talk to you about this for a second. When I was in college, I had a professor, and it was one of the best things that I ever learned. And he wasn't even really that good of a professor. <laughs> but he told me something that I've used on my radio shows, and I've been talking about it in horse clinics for years and years. He said, when you have a block of anything, whether it's salt, trace minerals, sulfur, sulfur, or like these, these are candy blocks. I call these sugar cubes. I talked about them in that other video that you may want to watch talking about mineral blocks. He always said that an animal is always going to be one to two licks away. Now think about that. What does that mean? An animal is always going to be one or two licks away from what they really mean, need. Well, their tongues are more sensitive than ours. They don't drink soda pop or tea or coffee or alcohol. So their taste buds are pretty virgin. That's why sweet feed to an animal tastes sweet and it tastes nothing sweetness to us. Their taste buds are much more sensitive. Well, since their taste buds are more sensitive, see how long you would be able to lick yourself on a trace mineral block or a salt block or even one of these sugar blocks before your tongue would be irritated or your lips. That's where trace minerals come in. A 25-pound bag seems like it's not going to last very long, but it does. The way you feed a, a trace mineral or even salt when it's loose, even table salt, right off of grandma's kitchen table. By the way, I have gotten in trouble for stealing salt shakers off the of kitchen tables when I was a kid, but it was for the horses, so I guess I was forgiven. But anyways, the point being is, is you want to take a tablespoon, just a tablespoon, not one of grandma's good silver, because that did get me in trouble. You want to take a tablespoon, and you just want to scoop a tablespoon out. And you want to throw it in their feed tub, in their feed bucket, individually for each horse. If you notice after you're done feeding, if that mineral is gone, do it again the next day. What you want to do is you want to find a happy medium, that gray area, between how much mineral is the animal really consuming versus how much residual is there in the bucket. If there's a lot of trace mineral left in the bucket, then you might want to dial back. Maybe you only have to give them a tablespoon once a week. I have horses at the home place. We give two tablespoons to them every day, and they suck it up. Now, can you actually overdose OD a horse on salt and trace minerals? It's very difficult to do that. They do have a self-leveling adjustment metabolism, so they're usually pretty good about preventing that. One way is they just don't eat it. And it's kind of like multiple vitamins. If you yourself take too many multivitamins, you just urinate it out. It comes out in your stool. It's the same with a horse. They pee it out, they poop it out. But this is another thing to consider to make sure that your horses do have a balanced diet. A lot of people focus on protein, and protein isn't the answer, ladies and gentlemen. A balanced diet is. Vitamins, trace minerals, the right amount of roughage. That's what keeps a horse blowing and going not just a bag of percentage of protein. So think about trace minerals, bagged, loose. Will it add a little bit to your chore time? Maybe. But what's the factor in? Factor in the mathematical odds. What's it going to do to enhance your horse's life? It will help them immensely. This has been another Stall13.com video. Take care of yourself and your horses.